Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go through the PhD program offered by the Max Planck Institute in Germany. So let's start with going through the web page of the Max Planck where to find this, those PhD options and then we go through the application process as well. So if you go to the home page of Max Planck Institute which is mpg.de you will end up having in this page probably sometimes or in most of the time it will direct you to the German version of the uh, uh, website but you can switch it to English if you want if you click those three lines to the right and then you have got the option here now because it's um, the already we are in the English version of the website you see the the option to switch to German or Deutsch as they call it but otherwise if it's on the German pages then it will show you the English option here and if you click that it will just switch all the content to the English language anyway so when you are in the first page you will click on the top right on these four lines and this sub menu appears and under the carrier option you see loads of option in term of um, jobs and then uh, family and career mentoring women in science career steps and so on and so forth but for now we want to look at the doctoral student section and in particular to this option of international Max Planck Research School. So let's click on that and see what we got. So this page appears and if you scroll down you will see like an overview of all IMPRS uh, program by the Max Planck Institute. As you can see there are many of them, it's not only one so that's and the reason is there are so many of those program in different city of the country. Looking from the top the first one is the computational method in psychiatry and aging research in Berlin. The second one is archaeology and history in Hull in East Germany. The next one is on aging again but in uh, Köln or Klön or uh, which is in the southwest of the country. The next one is in Bonn about astronomy and astrophysics and many others so you can look it up yourself see the names and depending on your interests and background you can select one of them so as you could imagine there are more than hundred or several hundred maybe PhD position each year across the country in different disciplines. So let's go through the first one. For instance, let's go through the first option of IMPRS on computational method. And let's see what we got. So now this is like the starting page of the um, this international um, Max Planck Research School and you could see like the um, abbreviation of the program is COMP2 Psych or Psych and as you could imagine uh, as you can see is already in German so we should find a way to switch the language and for doing that let me find it out myself yeah right as I said if you click again these three lines to the right this option appears and then there is like a word here English and if you click that it will switch all the content to English. There are some information definition about the program, the idea and concept and if you click this um, program in specifically it give you like a detailed information and then you should click that link which appears there. That's what I have done now. It just take you to this particular page it seems to be the dedicated page of this IMPRS uh, program some information about the modules some information about the flows of the program means like the academic or the researcher who are will dealing with this uh, program 
and in this particular cases there is also some faculties from London so it's not only the German based researcher but there are also some stuff from uh, outside of Germany as well Let's add an example, have a look at the IMPRS for molecular body biomedicine which is in Münster in West Germany. So let's click on that and go through the page. It just directs us to the graduate program CIM of IMPRS and if you scroll down there are some information about the introduction about the program. For instance if you click here give you of what we are and what we offer and some like even podcasts already there some further information general information about the program and how does it work but we just scroll back we are not interested on in that as much so we want to find like how does the application process go work and if you can see for application in 2021 you should go to the application so this one we just simply click for this particular program at the time that I'm recording this uh, video the application is passed and the next application for 2021 start in March 2021 but that doesn't mean we cannot get the information we can still get very much of useful information how does the procedure work so there are like the forms here as you can see if you click on this one here under this tab you can find the application form reference request form these are like the forms that you should fill and send beside your other documents and there are some other important information about the research project for instance it's advising you that please apply to this graduate program only if you find research projects that are of interest to you so there are some certain projects that you should select from and it's not like um, open for your proposal so you should have a master degree in life science in particular which is related to this course as well as mathematics or computer science these are also some extra information language proficiency uh, documents like TOEFL and IELTS are required but they are not that restricted I can tell you and then some information about the uh, admission process and like when you write the application what you should provide so as you can see there are loads of information already there so there are nothing kind of missing if you're interested to apply for that even some basic information of how to create and combine PDF files are given which are kind of something we everybody expect to be able to manage some information about the salary like the salary is something between 22,950 euro up to 29,800 euro per year which is quite decent salary as for a PhD student and um, yeah that's it basically so as I said for this particular program the program is not still open for application but the procedure is well defined and provided in detail here so let's move on. So now lo let's look at the IMPRS on elementary particle physics at Munich in south east of Germany. So we just click to go to the web page, dedicated page page of this Max Planck. As you can see at the time that I'm looking at these pages is like a new year so that's why there is like a happy new year message here but the way that you can find more about the Max Planck pro the PhD program on the very top you can see from the left starting with the research then news physics for everyone is studying and working about us so if you click this studying and working there would be a sub menu up here and on that you can find on the very first choice IMPRS PhD studies so let's click on that 
it just direct us to the dedicated pages for the uh, PhD program there are four options to select from but for we are interested in the first one which is about four IMPRS applicants so if we click on that then it provides us all the details we need for the application process what about uh, what does the program offer who is eligible for the doctoral studies as usual master uh, degree is required and um, good proficiency in English as a general rules the application deadline so for instance the application deadline for this particular program is 8th of January 2021 then which kind of documents you need to provide and some further details about the program as well but if you scroll down further you can find like the research topics and as you can see the list of the research topics can be found here we just scroll back and then you can go to the application form if you're interested to apply you provide your name nationality email phone address date of birth place of birth gender the degree that you have um, received in the past the years that you have done it did it have a master thesis or not and what was the title of your master thesis if you have got any language proficiency certificate like TOEFL or IELTS or other one you can just mention it there and what is your field of interest you can select from the list of the fields your references references one and two like brief summary of education and training at university that you had your research interests and then at the very end you're supposed to upload your CV all the certificates and master thesis and then you can simply click the sub so let's go through another example this time we want to look at for instance let's go down further down um, So let's look at, for instance, the IMPRS for Condensed Matter Science. So if we click on that, it directs us to the home page of the program. Or we should look, click on the top. Again, as usual, in many of the other Max Planck. So we just click here. We go down and we find the application here. And then we set application for PhD studies. It takes us to the application for PhD studies. It just said at the beginning, don't send an application, but mail, email, or fax, and should all done online. So what are the expectations? You should provide the personal data, referees, research interest, and certain, certain range of supporting documents. For the supporting documents, the expectation is that you provide the CV, <coughs> The transcript or record of a study certificate, which can be bachelor's and master's <coughs> degree, the proof of English <coughs> sorry, the in the proof of English proficiency like TOEFL or IELTS, GRE, if there is in place, and if you have any publication, you should provide the first page of it, and then the application should include also reference letter letters uh, and if you follow down it just give you the application link and that's why i've clicked now it take us to the registration page as usual you should provide the name family name date of birth city of birth country of birth email address and so on and so forth the information about your background education what degree have you got when did you receive that and what was your grade on those the university or colleges that you have visited before or have received your degree from if you have received any degree award or prizes should be <coughs> mentioned in this section 
the details of your language should be provided here and then you should provide the references uh, information like the referee 1 and 2 then they can send the letter to the program committee and then you should be able to select the subject or the research group that you are interested to work in you have got five options to choose from and then you should upload your CV and transcript in this section in the document upload section and that's it you just say you are agree with all those things and then by clicking start your registration will be completed and then you will receive an email um, uh, and then basically you are done so you have submitted your application and that's it yeah that's it for now i hope this information about the imp